I don't care whether you believe me or not. I don't have to prove who I am to you. I'm just trying to tell you everything because Dimitri loved you so much. But if you're going to turn this into a cross-questioning and try and trip me up with misinformation, then I don't have to tell you anything. Look, we're just trying to find out what's happened, Mrs. Oh, you don't have to call me Mrs. Marrick. Please, just call me Alex. Yes, of course, Dimitri felt at home here in Pine Valley, but he loved Vadzel, and he talked about it all the time. And he called it his home because it had been in his family for centuries. That is true. I know that Vatsal is the place where Dimitri would want to go if he were dying. Julian, how could you possibly know that? Because he loved it very much. And, and my whole family resigned to it when I was lost to the communists. But Dimitri never wanted to accept that. And when uh, the communists were gone, he worked really hard to, to get it back. And he spent a lot of time and, and effort to get it back to its original glory. Yes, I know that. I know that, Julian. And once Grandma almost... thanked him for allowing her to be buried next to Grandpapa, and I turned into this big joke, and he said, when the time comes, I'll be lying next to you. Julian. I loved him very much. He loved you, too. He's very proud of you. It was proud of me. Yeah. Thank you. Alex? Yeah, Alex. This is too much. I mean, this woman appears out of nowhere. She claims to be Dimitri's wife, his grieving widow. You and Jillian, you just accept her with open arms? No, but why would she even try to perpetuate such a hoax? Why? To get Dimitri's money? To get Dimitri's title? You choose a reason. She'd have to know that she could never get away with something oh, like that. Oh, you better believe she will never get away with it. Edmund. I can't go through this. Not again. Excuse me. I must give the orders on what to do with the body. I'll need your authorization I'll now. I'll sign what well, needs to be signed. Uh, but I... I, I no, you are the chief of staff, right? Yes. If you don't perform the autopsy, I will cause this hospital trouble. Dr... Silbert. Dr. Silbert, are you satisfied with the cause of death? I am not. You've made that clear. I'd like to hear the doctor's opinion. Well, as you know, post-mortem would give us answers that we don't have now. However, my legal obligation is to provide a cause of death with a death certificate. I feel I can do that to a medical certainty without one. Then there will not be an autopsy. I intend to take my husband with me as soon as possible. You can't do that. For God's sake, he's my brother. I'm sorry, Mr. Gray. Mrs. Merrick, would you come with me, please? Wait, 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 please, please. Please, just think about what you're doing here. Now, this has been a great shock to all of us. I mean, can you really just take him away before his family here has a chance to warn him? Why don't you want to know why he died? Huh? If you really loved him, you would. Don't you dare question my love for Dimitri. I will carry out his wishes as I see fit. Jack, Jack, we gotta do something. Isn't there something we can do? He's gone. 
Maybe Jack and Edmund can convince Alex not to take him away. Julian, Dimitri's gone. It's such a tragedy to have someone so full of life go away. At least we know that he spend the last moments of his life happy. He was with someone who loved him very much. No. No, that woman didn't love him. She may have gotten him to marry her. Maybe that part was true. But she's hiding something. What could she be hiding? Why was she so anxious to prevent the autopsy? Why was she in such a rush to get the body out of the country? If Edmund and Jack can prevent her from leaving, then maybe we will find out exactly how Dimitri spent the last moments of his life. Mrs. Merrick? Yes. The plane is ready for your return to Europe. Is the casket on board? It's being taken on now. Thank you. Your uh, final destination is... My final destination... <sighs> Mrs. Merrick? Would you please come with me? I'm afraid that's impossible. I'm just about to board this plane. No, ma'am. You're not going anywhere. <laughs>